Hey, how you doing YouTube? This is Jay from Jay's Random Repairs. Today we have a random 2007 Dodge Grand Caravan 3.8 motor. I'm going to show you all about the dipstick. So some people's break right at the stick. I'll show you, I'll take it out. 70% of people's problem is this little handle breaks off. So when that does break off, you're going to be left with just this piece, just the base. Solution, you can either use a screw, drill it in, pull it out with a set of pliers, that might be good enough. If it's not, you can always grab a pick, heat it up, stick it down as far as you can, let it cool, and then bring it back up. So now as you can see, my problem was this one broke and rotted out at the base. So now I got a replacement part. This is the curve one. They do have two different types. Mine's for the 3.8. And right here, you can see the part number. It's 3925. Got it off of Amazon. Now, since mine broke at the base, I wasn't able to just pull it out nicely, so I had to end up removing the oil pan. So here's my felt broke kit. Got that from AutoZone as well. 30622R. This is a nice rubber replacement. Now, if you look inside the package, what I got on this side here, this is going to be the O-ring for the pickup tube. I'm going to show you where this one goes. This is very important. Do not skip this step. Next thing out the package is going to be plastic studs. See if you can see them. Plastic studs. That way it helps you put the gasket in place before you put the pan up. It makes life a whole lot easier. So now I'm going to show you all the tools required for the job. First thing is going to be a penetrating oil. This just happens to be my favorite PB Blaster. Used it a bunch of times before starting the job, throughout the job. Get everything as loose as you can as possible. Since the engine is still in the car, the reason I made this video is because you cannot see where this goes. It's deep down there. Mine is still in the car. All the videos I saw had it out the car. So now, this is just for convenience. You could have a mirror so you could see the type of mess you're making on top of the dipstick while you're trying to pry it out. Got your extension. 10 millimeter socket. This is going to be for all the oil pan bolts. And this is for your 13. So this is going to be for the oil pump pickup tube. This is the little piece that's left. I'll show you how I pulled that out. Now to actually pull out the broken piece of stick, let me show you what we're dealing with under. All right. So now we're here under the engine. You can see up top here, that's where the stick used to be. Now there's a pretty hole. So now on the inside, you're gonna be looking at that hole. So this is what it looks like. I still haven't cleaned it out, but I did get the piece out. So over here, this is that pickup tube I was telling you about. Now the reason why we move it is because when you're hammering and pushing at the piece, this piece actually rests dead in the center of where you're trying to hammer. So you see that little pink right there? That's the O-ring that we're going to have to replace. Yank it down, change the O-ring, put it back into place. Just make sure you put some grease on it before you push it in so that way it seats properly. So now we'll go on to how I took out the stick. So this little piece was left protruding out of the hole that we just saw. So I did a grab a set of vice grips, wiggled it back and forth, Eventually it started to spin, gave it a couple whacks with the hammer, not sideways, but straight up to try to push the piece out. Once it broke, see how it's got a nice clean break? And then I was just left with the upper piece. So this is what I was left with, which is this piece right here. This was the most stubborn to get out. It definitely did take time. But as you can see, this is my first attempt to try to pry it out from the top. And then you can just look at the bottom. That's what I was looking at. So I punched it out several times with a punch. Right here. After that, 
I used a one and a quarter inch socket. It went all the way in up to here. Don't push it past that point. Don't get it stuck. Don't hammer at the block with a bigger hammer. You could actually crack the block. This is perfect. One quarter inch socket. I used the extension to finish hammering it out. After I got the piece out, which I did, now I'm just gonna clean it up and reassemble. Now let me tell you about the bolts from the bottom. So we have the quarter inch ratchet with the extension, 10 millimeter socket. This is gonna be for one trick bolt in the back. I'm gonna show you where it goes. There's a bracket back there that you do not have to remove. And that's that one right there. So when you have the oil pan in place, you're gonna see this bolt is kinda of super tight against here. So if you use that 10 millimeter with the quarter inch ratchet, you loosen it, and then the rest you can just get it with your fingers, and then you put it back and tighten it the same way. Other than that, these are gonna be the next tightest bolts. There's a big piece of foam strip in case you can't see them. All you gotta do is just pull it out of there. Then all the rest of the bolts are all clearly visible. So this is not that bad of a job at all. So I should have just started with removing the oil pan and doing it from the bottom, but I tried to take the easy road and do it from the top. That just cost me more time. It was less time to take out the oil pan and just get it from the bottom. So if you can get it from the top, good for you. I was only able to get it from the bottom. If you guys got any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. Thank you.